staying there, we're going to go into a squat. So take the feet wide now. So you're going to do a nice squatting action. Now again, it opens the pelvis ready for the birth. So this is one for when you're pregnant, not for when you're trying to get back into shape after. Also leaning into the wall. So leaning back into the wall, feet a few inches away from the wall, lovely. And then leaning back in, tailbone on the wall. The same action now. Now this time you're going to send your toes, your knees rather, directly over the middle of your feet. As tailbone stays on the wall, you breathe out and squat down. Don't go too far and breathe in and come back up again. Tailbone stays on the wall. Towards the end of your pregnancy, you might find it easier to squat with a partner. Your partner can hold on to your forearms and squat with you. And as you breathe out, going down, lovely. It's a lovely stretch for the inner thighs and it also works your leg muscles. Tailbone stays on the wall. Keep those natural curves still last time. So not going too far, lovely. And breathing in and coming up. As you know, your pelvic floor is very important while you're pregnant. It can actually drop as much as two centimeters towards the end of your pregnancy. And it, if the baby's head in the end can actually be using your pelvic floor a little bit like a trampoline. Now, we want you to practice these exercises at least working up to about five repetitions. And of course, once you've had the baby, it's gonna be even more important for you to start your pelvic floor exercises as soon as possible. Okay, so sitting however you're comfortable, you can sit on a chair or you can sit cross-legged. If you are sitting cross-legged, you might like to be sitting on a pillow just so that you keep the natural curves of your spine. I want you to imagine now that your pelvic floor is like an elevator and we're going to be taking the elevator up the different floors of the building. And then as a surprise for getting you ready for the birth itself, we're actually going to be taking the pelvic floor down into the basement. Now this bit is just for when you're pregnant, not for afterwards. So sitting nice and tall, take a wide breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you're going to close the doors of the elevator, sliding the two sides of the pelvic floor together and take it up just to the first floor of the building. And then breathe in and bring the elevator back down to the ground floor. Breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, slide the doors together and take it up to the second floor of the building. And breathe in and release back down to the ground floor. Make sure your shoulders stay relaxed. Breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, Close the doors, squeeze the pelvic floor up to about the third floor, about your navel now. And breathe in and slowly lower. And now for the top floor. Wide breath to prepare as you breathe out. Close the doors and come right up as far as you can, really lifting up. And breathe in and come back down to the ground floor and then breathe out and take the lift down into the basement and open. And then relax. And again, wide breath to prepare as you breathe out. Close the doors, take the lift to the first floor. And breathe in and bring it down. On your next out breath, take it to the second floor. And breathe in and come back down to the ground floor. Breathe in to prepare and on the out breath, close the doors and take the lift to the third floor. And breathe in and come back down. And last, breath in to prepare as you breathe out. Doors close, up you come right to the top floor, right up to the penthouse. And breathe in and release. And on the out breath, down to the basement. Let everything release and relax and open. And then relax.